what's up guys welcome back to my channel and today i'm going to be showing you guys how to find meshes and add them on roblox you're going to want to search up roblox.com slash create and you're going to want to request desktop website i'm on safari so the two a's at the top of your tab that's where you're going to want to press to request desktop website if you don't already have it on desktop website first you're going to be in your creator hub but you're going to want to go to the store now what's the dashboard at first just to like kind of see but you're going to want to go to the store because that's basically like where the marketplace for everything is you have your models your plugins your audios your fonts decals mesh parts videos we're going to be going to mesh parts you can see like all the different meshes that they have a lot of them don't seem to have a texture but you can add textures from other from other meshes and i'm pretty sure with decals which i can test that out and show you guys in a different video if you want but i used a cookie mesh because i knew the texture where i felt like the texture was gonna work and i kind of just want to show you guys how to like add that and it's like a very simple mesh you can do you're gonna want to double tap up there double tapping is important for that little tab up there you saw the numbers double tap that and copy the numbers for your mesh for your code you're gonna go to any game that has b tools if the game has b tools then this should work not every game is gonna have a b tools command in the private server or if you have admin so you need to make sure if it does or not before you you know stimmed all this time searching for something you really want or need but basically that's what i did you make sure make sure you are getting double tapping you have to double tap make sure you're getting your mesh and double tapping or else it's not going to work out the way you want it to because you need to make sure you have all those numbers and i also have uh, something else i'll copy and paste it if i can but there are a bunch of reasons why your mesh might not show up which i will definitely explain in a different video because i don't want to like make y'all just sit through here explaining will i go back and forth with the mesh but after you join your game or whatever i'm just gonna no tools b tools it because that's just how i do it at least i do no tools b tools and fly if i'm not gonna be dancing and this is just a dance moms game you i know you mo people mostly build in dance moms games so it's like you want to know how to add a mesh in a game that you can use tools which is mainly i think just dance moms or random building game and so that's what i did and i want to fly you want fly if you're able to fly and like the flag doesn't mess up anything you're gonna want to do that i'm also gonna have another tutorial out on like how to use all the tools and what everything i've learned that's basically what i'm gonna do i made the mesh super big well the starting block big because i want to make sure i can actually hold the block when i'm using it and so i went to the little globe it looks like a little globe a bit you're gonna press file and that's when you are going to add copy your code well you're going to paste your code actually and i like to paste one to make sure it works and there it is you see it's kind of small but you can always resize these things you can most definitely resize them so i just resized all of mine to 10 because i don't want it to look all wonky and weird so that's basically what i just did and th that way it works that it works that way but something else i decided to do because it's like you see the mesh you have your mesh but a lot of times you want to dance on the mesh and there's an amazing way you can dance on the mesh you want to like the same way we added that block you're going to add something i added a cylinder in another video i'll like explain the whole shapes and everything on the tools list i added a cylinder i resized it it's bigger and better and that way i can actually stand on the said cookie what well, look, looks like i'm standing on a cookie so if i was to dance on that cookie in the game that it looked like I was standing on the cookie. But that's kind of it, honestly. That's kind of all I really did. I feel like it's a very simple process, but I would definitely do an Internet Explorer version because there are different ways to request desktop website on different search engines. So I'll definitely like to show you guys that way. For sure it's just Bing though, in all honesty. But there's also different little settings and new settings. I saw I was like, oh, I love those. So I had to do them. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And let me know if you need, like, if you want any other tutorials that comes with, like, building or just, like, dance moms, kind of. So, like, I'll get back into it if y'all really want me to. I got, like, I stopped doing it for a really long time. But I still get comments, even though I made the video, like, two or three years ago. So I'll still do it, you know, because why not? But here it is. And I will see you guys in the next one.